Hello and welcome back to Airport CEO and this traffic jam mess we got going on right here in the game here on Rosraw Gaming. And you will see that very shortly here and we have some delays which you will also see right here and I bring you back into the game where we haven't done really anything but been uh, taking the time forward here a little bit to gain the extra cash to do something we need badly and that is extend our uh, land so we can try to alleviate the problem that we have with just one run runway which is getting well destroying pretty much everything else we are trying to do to run our airport pretty smoothly and as you see here planes queuing up and everything like that and we get uh, planes that can't leave their stance due to uh, we have a traffic jam to the only runaway we have so that's the reason we have saved up a little bit of cash so we can press this button and unlock that area and uh, yeah to have a proper runway the proper length though we need this tile unlocked as well another 750k and uh, yeah and we need to extend the uh, or entry to the terminal and everything like that so we are going to need a lot and a lot of cash here throughout the coming stages and uh, so I'm thinking running the game here on twice the speed at least to try and bring in the cash slowly but steadily here and try to do some smart things so the first thing to tackle is as I said try to get in a new runway uh, but to do that we are going to try and do that pretty smart uh, so i think we'll do we'll do a taxiway that is pretty much going to cross all the way over here to our runway and we will maybe later on have a runway here up top uh, but i think we'll cross in here pretty much and then maybe we'll have a small uh, wing as well uh, or satellite terminal here could be for some extra stands or we could have like uh, the icing zone up here that would actually be quite a good place for it so that is maybe something we will do but for now let's start and plan and think about how we are going to do this so I think for one we are going to use medium concrete stands here and they should be placed like this i think uh, or should they yeah i guess that could be fine could be fine could be fine could be fine should we do it yeah we will do it so it will be like that and that is sort of just placed for a reference so to say uh, we actually bring in a few developers like five no not all five so i said and uh, yeah also while moving the game forward a little bit i saw that we are making around 250k per day so we are making a decent profit uh, but we'll certainly not make a profit very fast for us here and we are playing the game raw and slow like i like i want to and i always do so to say moving through the game quite slowly but we are moving at a quicker pace than last time around definitely and we have few problems and we are doing things a little bit more planned than organic or organically so i think that's pretty good and that is what we're going to try to do here as well so I'll my reasoning is to build up a few stands here but we will focus on the taxiway buying the next piece of land and a new runway before getting too much ahead and we'll do the same sort of setup as we do here here i think with the two taxiways lanes uh, and then the runway so to say uh, so this is just to get the uh, placement of the the attached runway or not run with that's the way that we will have above it with seven tiles and uh, 
get that in next year actually and we are closing in here on the nights nice. will actually do full speed throughout the night and uh, we don't really have any cash and uh, we have tried before with uh, loaning cash but i don't really want to do that either because yeah last time around it took forever for me to get that back so to say uh, which were quite uh, frustrating really uh, the truth be told uh, so we get in a little bit or quite a bit actually of sorts of uh, the runway so that's pretty nice or not the runway taxiway so definitely gonna stumble or get uh, the words mixed up here from time to time and uh, yeah we'll see what happens we could of course uh, maybe taking in uh, the last few cash we get in from uh, from the planes taking off there and uh, get in the next taxiway foundation let's actually do that just just because we can so we actually have missed uh one one whole row there i see so it should be like that so we should have seven wide and that is seven wide yeah i believe so yeah that's seven wide so let's uh wait through the night here i guess for us to build back some cash um and uh, we'll see what to take next but uh, as i said i think we'll build out here and um, and then maybe extend the foundation here so we can open some more stands here and make even more chaos here with uh, this runway before we are opening and uh, trying to reach this one and opening up this one just to try and, and get in even more cash basically uh, at a faster level and um, it's not all about cash of course but uh, yeah everything will be in an airport is of course of course very cash heavy uh, which it should be it should be and i know the developers are looking quite soon actually uh, i guess <laughs> so to say uh, are looking in to all the aspects of uh, of the action simulation so to say with the, with the prices and how to have the airlines be happy and everything like that and i think that's really good for at the moment it's like that easy to get everyone pleased and make a profit once you get over the first hurdles so to say um, and getting in the big planes and that's really what's bringing in the cash uh, the small planes a little bit general aviation almost nothing but uh, you can if you want but that will take some crazy amount of time to build up that properly especially from the lowest amount of cash we already tried that and well it it went okay but the series lasted for like 20 hours to get to a stage where we sort of are now after like less than five hours or around five hours so you gotta gotta know what you're doing basically and have a lot of patience if you're going to do things a certain way but as i said they are working on the game balance or they will be doing because the next type update is actually something very interesting they are going to be bring in even bigger planes even bigger runways and everything like that uh, so they will definitely work on performance issues of course in the game and everything like that that will be needed because well when we were closing off last season we started to get some performance issues when we have around 3k uh, passengers in the terminal at once it starts to get a little bit slowish sluggish for me at least um, but that is uh, of course different uh, for each and single one and uh, now we're going to build a little bit more but uh, I guess we are getting some extra fuel uh, but that is good because we are earn my money with the fuel as well uh, so that's all right uh, but uh, yeah i'm certainly enjoying this game and i hope you are too do you have any questions thoughts about the game or how i'm playing it do leave a comment i, I love to read your comments and i read everything and 
to fly it to most things as well. And if you are enjoying the game, which I hope you are in the series, you should really smash that like button. And if you don't want to miss anything that we upload here daily on the channel or also gaming, you should hit that subscribe button as well. And if you want to be really sure to not miss out, you can hit that small bell icon and that will bring you notification right to your device. And with that said, we almost got back to zero in cash, so still a lot to do there. But uh, let's talk a little bit about the baggage situation. So I actually think the setup for now works pretty decently for us. It's very much so that it's too many stands that this small uh, baggage area serves. But uh, I think it does it quite all right, uh, considering it's 10 stands, it should be less, uh, definitely, like maximum maybe 4 stands, uh, but that is medium stands. For the small stands I think it can service like 7, 8 small stands at once, that should be quite all right, but we also have a traffic jam here with all the parking and especially the well, basically everything is going through here. The oil tankers or baggage trucks and definitely our uh, buses here. So here we have a very much uh, of a issue. And we actually completed a contract successfully. I don't think we have ever done that uh, proper before, or at least I haven't. And that actually brought us a 19k bonus, which is darn nice. And we'll sign another contract with we'll beer, which we had before, I do believe. And uh, now we actually have gotten in a bit of more cash, so we will continue our uh, slow, slow paced uh, extension of our airport. So let's see here. So this will definitely go all the way here. So I kind of want to do just that. Uh, for placing it, so I can place seven wide down down, and uh, actually I sort of don't want to place it down. Uh, let's actually focus on getting in uh, uh, more medium stands here, so we can get in more medium flights, and uh, we'll build an even bigger pile up here with uh, with everything. Uh, but as I said, I think uh, getting even more cash per hour for for us will be good a good thing at the moment. Uh, while waiting here, we should try and take on some small things though that are cheap. Uh, not too sure what to do exactly though. Uh, I'm not that great at uh, at doing things like uh, in a nice way and designing things. Um, this cafe, for example, is definitely one of the better things I've uh, sort of designed. At least in in this game, so to say. And I kind of like the check-in area here as well. And this is decent. But like the floor, is, it's so hard to do a, something really neat and uh, as well. But it's like the perfect... Uh, opportunity to do something nice I think uh, because we got like a blank pixel pixel, uh, pixel board really so to say so you could uh, draw something real nice with the different textures here write something nice or uh, do like a face or a logo I could try and do raw scroll gaming actually um, but that should be like in a montage, I think. Let's think about things actually properly, what is needed and where. So we have some cafe and uh, restaurant or shopping area here. That's nice. We have our baggage area in the middle of everything very poorly. We have enough security, a little bit on the low side, but it's all right. We have a staff zone over here and a staff room. There's two toilets down here. Up here we have a very poor hallway and over here we got nothing but we got a, 
uh, a staff room. So we should definitely be bringing in some um, uh, some uh, gates getting put. The problem is here, I kind of want to do this on the second level because uh, that is where I want to put it and put in jetways. Uh, but maybe we'll do that like like later, uh, like a, a, a light later project, so to say, and uh, and start with the the gate seating. I, I think that is that's a good idea. So let's just do something smart and nice here. So some large gate seating should be a good uh, got good option to do here. And I see that we are. Uh, Actually, we should fi first fix this. Uh, secure zone is uh, clearly marked wrong here. So let's extend that. So our passengers and staff and everything can actually walk in the designated area. So that in first, and then let's tackle the gate seating in. You could quite possibly maybe do some uh, neat designs with the gates settings as well I guess uh, I will probably stick with something like this and the boring that I've already done and uh, I should fill in some walls here as, as well we have our uh, passengers actually being able to go out on the apron or the, on the stands and uh, yeah, we don't really want that we could put in some windows that would be nice but i don't want to do that on the ground level uh, that could be done definitely on uh, one level up or something like that but for now let's do it like this i uh, will do where will we do it we'll do two away and one between is this correct? I don't know. I guess it will have to be. Uh, we'll do pretty much all between here. Uh, so they are basically sharing the gate seating. So one tile over this one. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. And uh, yeah, some of the behavior is not uh, really great, and uh, I guess this is due to us not having cues that it, the game is making it uh, that way. And also we saw uh, by the security, when we will get down to that again, that uh, or secure exits actually, uh, that uh, the passengers are behaving sort of uh, funny. Let's actually check on that right now. Do we have any passengers exiting? Yeah, so you see they, they, they can they get stuck right after the security zone or the security exit for a short while before continuing on. So that's a little bit funny actually. Uh, so let's see here. Why not get in? Should I do terminal or should I do the stand? Let's actually do terminal because that is uh, what's going to be needed. So 104, how this is one time, one, no, zero, one, two, three, four, five, seven. So like that. So we now have room to bring it down here if we want to, but we are not going to aim to do that because we will unlock this first and then do the second runway here. <laughs> so our terminal will look really stupid. Um, but let's actually let's see here. How much terminal funds do we need for to do that? 46k. Alright, so next thing will definitely be that terminal area, 46 more K, and then we'll add in one or two more stands here and get in that 
as well and that should bring up our uh, money making abilities quite well and uh, I don't know what kind of pattern or design that uh, terminal will look like after that though uh, it will look quite ridiculous and uh, let's see how ridiculous it looks of sort here after getting that so it's, I, I, I don't know like this small arrival hall and then uh, this uh, well square terminal without being square so you gotta go around it uh, in a loop really 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 odd and we need to demolish some walls here action walls and some plan walls So there and here we have some more real walls to the militia. We don't want to do that that tile because well that is a corner tile. We like to keep those corner tiles in. And um kinda think this looks like more than five five contractors or what I said I were going to have uh, on uh, on uh, the airport but uh, works quite nicely at the moment so because we are actually as I said getting in the cash at a decent pace so why not uh, let's see here we can get in uh, the taxiway all the way here I guess like so that and uh, no delays we are not delaying any flights at our airport because well we don't have time for it and uh, yeah if we delay anything everything else gets delayed to due to our uh, one runway So another day is about to come to its end here in uh, this episode, not episode in this day. Uh, but speaking of episode today, I actually started a new series here on the channel as well, Line Tycoon uh, Deluxe, and I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope you have watched it as well, because it's really one of uh, my childhood memories, best game ever, so to say. Uh, play that tons uh, when I actually had broken my leg uh, and I loved every second of it and I actually like it still today 20 years later so I highly recommend you check that out and especially if you are enjoying Airport SEO uh, Airline Tycoon and Del Deluxe from 1999 it's definitely worth checking out it's uh, similar but not at all but you have uh, the same like yeah uh, flight schedule or flight planner you have very similar there but of course being a, a airline you plan it according to planes and slots instead and things like that so it's actually quite quite darn neat and charming and fun so uh, do check that video out if you want of course uh, and, and, or videos because as I said it's a whole series uh, yeah, let's see here what's what's next here. Um, don't know really. Don't know what to attack more. Well, we'll get in more more uh, stands here first, of course, and then set up uh, checking desks and everything like that. Uh, but uh, the cash is uh, not there yet, and we are at nice. So, gotta talk about something else. So. Uh, so one question for you guys, I actually really like um, Flight Raider 24 as well, or rather what they bought up, and I do like Flight Raider 24 actually as well, since it uh, was a Swedish company at least, I don't know if it is the same now, but actually anyway I like my flight diary, diary uh, 
which is what's called before now I think it's my flight diary 24 uh, but anyway there I can log each of my flights that I'm doing uh, not as often as I would like but I log them and can get this pretty nice map and uh, and see where I've been and not been and that's how long I've flown around the world and things like that uh, and I, I think it's a pretty neat service and actually just wondering if you guys have you traveled much or do you enjoy travel i know for myself i certainly enjoy travel very much and uh, want to have uh, to have uh, one uh, holiday booked ahead uh, all the time at least uh, to have something to look forward to so to say so like to have a big holiday planned and booked for like up to a year ahead it's so nice and then have like a weekend here and there in between maybe so i'm actually a little bit not stressed but uh, uh, well sad that i don't have anything anything really sort of a bigger holiday booked at the moment here after coming home from uh, mexico and uh, flying business class actually so taking the full joy out of the airports and the airlines of course and uh, first time seen uh, in lunches and everything and i think that were definitely an experience worth having but uh, in the end it's the same product as flying economy it's only well better service and everything is pretty much better of course but as i said it's still going to take you from point a to b but you're paying like four times the price for but your comfort and uh, yeah I mean then not really worth it I think I did of course not really pay in that much for it though using mines uh, it were like the price of uh, economy flight and uh, if you're lucky enough to find the business or first class flights for like economy prices then flying business or economy is definitely worth it it's a, a much more relaxed journey but uh, yeah if i'm shooting myself i uh, definitely prefer to spend the money on uh, well the actual actual holiday and uh, where i'm going to stay uh, so to say uh, because well you're staying in your hotel much longer than you are in your flights even though it, your flight might be for up to 20 hours or so you're still going to end up uh, staying or oh, will end up being at your hotel or hotels much more than uh, on your flights that's just how it's going to be so to say and uh, yeah, i should get in some nice pattern really it would spice up the airport so much uh, but uh, yeah i could at least do maybe some different colors for like a domestic area or of sorts or uh, this remote area and this business well not business but international and big planes area and uh, i guess that might be something we will be doing later on in the series because uh, really we are aiming to get in all the floor here for variation that we are doing here in, in this episode and uh, once that is done i actually think it's time to end the, the episode so uh well, if we are ending this session uh, or finishing this rather we can say uh, i'm i have been really grateful that you have watched so thank you so much for watching this episode i hope you have enjoyed and i will see you next time here on the channel thank you and bye bye you have been watching rosco gaming and i hope you have enjoyed on clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel and with that said thank you again for watching